try to pick your spots? Yeah, definitely. I tried to pick my spots because um, I know for you know they, they didn't really want me to get in the middle as much as possible. Um, they did a good job of keeping me out of the paint. You know, they, they made me force a couple um, bad shots. And, um, so once I started shooting some bad shots, I tried to just get everybody else involved, get into the paint, make somebody else, or draw somebody else to hit their man. You see me already? Oh, well, I, that was, I was having stomach problems Friday night. Uh, After the game? No, before the game. Um, you know, I don't think it really affected me a lot, but like the first five minutes, I had to drink some water and stuff. I felt like I was going to throw up for some reason. I wasn't throw up? No, I didn't. Um, but today, it was, it's more of my back. My back's really sore, and I just have to make sure I get rest. Kansas threw up they probably did. After Nick made one of those threes, just One of the times, just because um, you know, I, I kept trying to tell them that the game wasn't over. And, you know, I, I always tell the team, you know, we're going to score a point. We're one of the best offenses in the country. You know, we, sometimes you can't celebrate. That's fine. But when you have, we're playing a team like Florida that pushes the ball, and is able to score at a uh, at a quick pace, then we have to make sure we get back. What you know about Michigan basketball when you're a little kid? You know, like five. You know anything about it? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. What's it? What's it mean? Does it mean anything to you guys now? You know, we talked about the bad fights of all year. You guys had your own legacy. Is that was that important? Yeah, that's definitely important. It definitely means a lot to be here. You know, this program hasn't been here in, oh, I want to say, 20 years. And um, it definitely means a lot just to be, be able to get here with this team. You know, a lot of people doubt this. A lot of people say we were too young, too soft, not tough enough. And we use that as motivation. We use that and uh, made sure that we played with a chip on our shoulders over the last two or three weeks. It's a long year, though. I mean, talk about how long. You had so many ups and downs. Number one, you put a soft. Talk about just the goal of this year. Well, that's, that's, that's how you become a great team. You have to go through adversity to, you know, to, to, to get some success. And we understood that. You know, there was a lot of times where we were really down on, you know, down on ourselves, you know, after losing certain games. Um, and we just continue to get better, continue to stay with it, continue to mature and grow as a team. It's definitely allowed us to um, know what it takes to get to this point. Was there a confidence after uh, maybe earlier today or even yesterday? You guys kind of already slayed the dragon here in Kansas. And oh, well, we just got to go finish. This we game. were definitely confident after the Kansas win. You know, a lot of people expect, uh, expected us to lose. You know, by the way, we came back and won in overtime. But we knew that Florida was a good team too. You know, we knew that they were capable of beating, of beating us, and they've beaten some really good teams this year. So that's why we tried to come out with high intensity and try to, um, you know, come out with with, with, the, with the chip on our shoulder. Trey, you, you just you just growing up, and then you're out there cutting down the nets and everything. That is definitely everything I dreamed of. Um, you know, I, I watched March Madness since I was a little kid. And, it's definitely um, bittersweet to be able to get up there and cut down the nets and um, um, have the opportunity to go to Atlanta. So we're, we're definitely accomplished. We're definitely honored. And we have we have uh, more work to do. Your dad was down there with you. What was that like to have him on the floor with you? It, it meant a lot. Um, they, they support me, you know, 100. percent They they haven't missed a game that they weren't they weren't able to come to. You know, that definitely means a lot. And, um, it gives me a sense of confidence. And just to just to have him up there after the game means a lot because he was he was the guy that raised me. He was the one that was hard on me. He's the one. He's the reason why I'm here now. So, Trey, you, you guys you guys shredded two pretty good defenses back to back, Kansas and Florida. Now you're going up against there. Do you feel like this, you guys, right now the way you're operating? You can take apart any defenses at this stage? I think so. Um, and we do a really good job of watching film. We, we try to watch film and we try to find ways to break defenses down. You know, Syracuse is really good um, in 2 3 zone and they're really long. So, you know, we have to play smart. We, we can't take contested shots. We have to move the ball and just, you know, try to just find, like I said, try to find different ways to get the ball in the middle and try to dice up the defense. How about Spike? Spike, it's definitely a secret weapon. You know, he's a guy that comes off the bench, and he's probably one of the smartest players on this team. You know, he he's able to see things a lot of people can't see. Um, it, it allows, it, it definitely makes him a threat out there, which is which is very dangerous. Trey Mitch has turned into kind of like a rock star here for the last month or three weeks. What, what's it been like to just watch him kind of figure everything out at once here? It, it, it means a lot, but he does it in practice a lot. So, you know, we were just waiting for him to do it in the game. And once he got his opportunity to start, you know, get the minutes that he's getting now, he's definitely produced and contributed at a high level. Um, 
touchdowns. You know, we know that he's, he's he's able to get us extra possessions on the offensive end. He, he's a one and done, uh, a one and done type guy. When the defense shoots or when a, a opposing team shoots, we know he's more than likely going to get the rebound just because he's so active. That definitely makes us, um, you know, more dangerous. Did you guys get the sense that Nick was sort of due? Uh, for a game like this one? Well, yeah, once he started hitting threes with two or three people in his face, I, I knew that he was, it was, his, it was his day to day. I told him after the first TV timeout that it was a 30 point game for him. And, um, you know, he was close enough. So, you know, I told him I was going to continue to hit him. You know, it was my job to continue to find him when he's open. He knocked down shots today. Seems though that teams have to give up something against you guys, whether it's him or whether it's Ryan Roll or whether it's Hardaway. I mean, just how difficult are you guys to Well, 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 I think we're really difficult because we have so many options, so many weapons. Now that means a lot. You know, when, when the teams try to try to take certain things away, then we try to we try to go to win the counter. We try to see what else is available. You know, I think that's why we're so special. We're really good offensively. We're just trying to continue to get as good defensively as we are offensively. You 